Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Tiffany and today I'm going to share with you the easy way that I make chicken tikka masala in my crock pot or instant pot, but today we're using the crock pot. I hope you enjoy this video and please consider subscribing to be a part of our YouTube family. Also consider heading over to the Instagram page to follow us over there for more fun and shenanigans. Uh, my voice is in the process of healing from uh, being sick the past two weeks, so that's why it sounds a little off, so I apologize for that. But I am going to share with you my easy chicken tikka masala recipe. I put that in quotes because it's not really a recipe. Um, I've had a few of you ask about it because in my grocery hauls I share with you like some of the ingredients that I've gotten in the past, and I've had many of you ask if I could share it with you. So I'm going to do that today because that's what we are having for dinner tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ingredients. It is one, two, three, four ingredients plus whatever you decide to serve it over. Um, tonight we will probably use jasmine rice just because that's what I have on hand. So let's take a look. And here are the ingredients. Like I said, super simple. I've got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can also use chicken breast if you prefer. I find that I am preferring the boneless, skinless chicken thighs because they retain moisture more when um, I cook them in the crock pot or pressure cooker, where the chicken breasts tend to get, they're not dry per se, but they get a little bit tough in my experience. So I do like the chicken thighs instead. We've got a jar of the tikka masala simmer sauce from Aldi. If you don't have an Aldi in your area, I honestly don't have a substitution for this. This is the only way I've ever made it. So let me know in the comments down below if you know of another tikka masala sauce that is like quick, ready to use, because this is obviously not homemade. I always throw in a can of diced tomatoes. It doesn't have to be this specific one. This one is a basil, garlic, and oregano. That's just what I happen to have on hand. I've done um, like a rotel type of tomato. I've done just plain tomatoes. I've done stewed tomatoes. Whatever you have or your preferred diced tomato of choice. I also put in a can of coconut milk, and I get this from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite kind. Uh, you can get other types of canned coconut milk as well from pretty much any grocery store. Uh, this is just the one that we have on hand and the one that I prefer. So I put in a can of that and it makes it creamy. I don't know if this is a traditional sort of recipe. This is how we eat it and this is how we love it. The kids even enjoy this meal. Uh, so let's go ahead and just throw it all into the crock pot. That part is easy. I got this picture in my closet. It's gathering dust right now. And the edges have been folded once or twice. Now you're just going to add everything else on top. Sometimes I will throw in fresh or frozen green peppers, like diced or strips, um, but I don't have any on hand. So I'm just working with what I've got. A picture of you. That glob will melt if you've not ever used a canned coconut milk. That is the solid part, but it will combine in with the rest of everything. And if I close my eyes, I can almost hear your song. I just added a little bit of water in here to get the rest of the tikka masala sauce out of the jar. And then we are going to, let's see, it's almost noon. I'm gonna put it on high, because we're gonna be eating dinner uh, early tonight, earlier than normal, because Jackson has Cub Scouts this evening. So basically, as soon as they get home from school, they do their after school reading, and then I either cook dinner or I start getting dinner plated for everyone. So I will check in with this. Once this cooks for about four hours, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of chop up the meat and I use the Pampered Chef Mix and Chop. Let me see if it's in the washer. So yes, I use this tool. You can find similar ones on Amazon. I'll leave a link to one of the ones that I find similar. And I will just chop up all the meat. It'll kind of be like a runny sauce with like chunks of meat and pota uh, potatoes, tomatoes, and then I'll serve it over jasmine rice, which I will prepare closer to serving time. So 
here is the finished product. I've got some rice made on the stove top. As you can see, I just kind of rough chop everything and then just mix it real well before you serve it because some of the stuff, like the juices, kind of separate. But Jackson and Alice don't care for rice, so they usually just have some of this with some of the liquid, almost like a broth, in a bowl, and they eat it that way. Will and I do eat it over rice, so let me show you what an assembled bowl looks like. So this is kind of like the stages. I layer rice and rice, rice, bleh, rice in the bottom of a bowl, and I tend to use glass bowls because the sauce can stain like plastic type bowls, so just be aware of that. And then I just pour a bunch of the mixture over top with enough, enough I can't talk, enough liquid to help saturate the rice. So that's what we're looking at for dinner. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. Yes, I did change my top. We're getting ready to go to Cub Scout shortly and I put on a different hoodie. Uh, thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.